Hey everyone, I am ready to get my day started. So guys, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go make some money. Okay, good way to start my day. $23.25 stacked. Let's go in and grab it. Okay, so pickup at the last restaurant was actually highly amusing. There was like a party of like 10 people waiting in a small waiting room where I needed to get in and grab my order and they were hogging the entire thing. So I actually went outside and called because there's like no hostess anywhere. So I called to get the hostess to come to the stand and said, hi, I'm an Uber Eats driver. I'm outside, are these orders ready? And the hostess came, looked at the order and we're like, oh yeah, it's ready. I'm like, great, I'm standing right outside. And finally I got my order and I kind of went around the party of 10 and both delivered. But Uber Eats came through with another stack I got in this order and then came through with a another order. So after these two orders, I'll have $35 to start my day. Not too bad. I want to start every day like this. Okay, I only went out for two hours this afternoon. I only took two more orders, which are here. <laughs> and now I am ready to take my next order. It is a DoorDash order, $6.75, local Chinese place. So hopefully it'll be easy in, out, and delivered. And We'll kind of see what tonight actually brings. Who knows where these apps, I always say, who knows where these apps are going to lead us. I feel like that's like the beauty behind what we do. You never, never know what areas you're going to drive to or what towns you're going to be in. I find that fun. So I am going to go in to a Chinese place just pulled up. Let's go grab it. <laughs> DoorDash for Lisa. Lisa? Lisa. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good day. ever have deja vu I'm back at the Chinese restaurant that I just picked up from but this time it's Grubhub <laughs> so I'm working on a Grubhub order right now I'm about ready to go pick it up so in something interesting happened earlier this afternoon and of course I didn't have my GoPro with me I wish I did at the time because it probably would have been a highly amusing um, clip that I can use in this video but I wasn't so I keep getting DoorDash order for a new place in my area and that I've never been to before and I know my area like the back of my hand I'm like I don't even know where this is like I never like I knew the area that it was around I'm like I don't remember seeing signs for a cafe because it was a cafe and a lot of times it's like coffee and stuff like that so I'm like I don't know where this is and by the name of it there is a salon with the same name so I'm like is it in the salon like I was really confused so I decided to take an order just to see where this new cafe was ended up being in the salon so I walk in I can't find it anywhere they were saying there were like signs outside that says around this way and I could not find it so I go into the salon and I walk in and they're like oh what appointment are you here for today I'm like well I, I wish I was getting my hair done but no um, I'm here for a DoorDash order but for a cafe and she goes oh yeah that's like up the stairs and through the salon like like how much more complicated can this be so the lady's like I'll take you so I'm waiting for her to come out to me but I had to go like around the counter and then she took me up a flight of stairs 
which actually took me through salon stations and people getting their hair done. And then when I got to the top of the stairs, I had to go through nail stations. And then I had to go through the pedicure room before I got to the cafe. And I'm like, wow. So this cafe, it was a nice cafe, but and it was on the second floor. And it had like benches that overlooked the parking lot, which I guess was kind of nice. So I'm sitting there and they're attending to people and people are talking and finally a girl comes up to me and I said, hi, I'm here for a DoorDash order and I say the name. With that, I look over to the right of me and the salon owner was sitting there having a cup of coffee. I don't know who she was talking to, but she says she was a salon owner. That's how I know. But she was saying that she started talking about DoorDash. And she goes, yeah, we've had quality control issues with DoorDash drivers. The DoorDash drivers we've had have been horrible. They get our food all smashed. It's, it's just a big problem. We haven't had one good driver yet. And I'm thinking in the back of my head, lady, not, do you not realize a DoorDash driver is literally standing almost right next to you? And not only that, but if DoorDash is really that bad, get off the platform. I didn't say anything. I just stood there patiently waiting. And this lady keeps going on and on and on about like every DoorDash driver has been horrible and is bashing DoorDash drivers. Finally, the girl behind the counter who knew I was there goes up to the salon owner. She thought she was being quiet and discreet, but she wasn't. She goes, that's a DoorDash driver. And she goes, oh, and then shut up. <laughs> and started a whole new conversation. But I'm like, wow, first of all, remind me never to go to the salon to get my hair done. That's first thing. Not that I would because I have my own place that I go to. But second of all, wow, um, good impression of um, DoorDash drivers you got there, lady. But like, wow, who, who would like say that open? And like the room was probably full with probably about I'll say like 10 customers drinking coffee. So like she was loud enough for the entire cafe to hear. And I'm like, yeah, never come back here again. <laughs> so that was my fun um, pickup from a new cafe that I've never been to um, before that supposedly hates DoorDash drivers. I don't know whether I'm in that mix. Don't know, but I'm gonna assume I was. <laughs> yeah. They said it was going to be 20 minutes. They just got the order. I'm not waiting 20 minutes. Sorry, grip up. Moving on to a DoorDash order, though. Before, sometimes before I cancel, I try to get my next order before I cancel. So that way I know I have something to go to. And that's exactly what I did. I turned on DoorDash and Uber Eats before I canceled the Grubhub and got this order. I'm like, no, nope. okay, DoorDash it is. Here we come. <laughs> so... Onward, onward to a dino this time. order came through right before my last drop off. Hopefully maybe I can get going on an Uber roll a, li a little bit. <laughs> but there was a hidden tip in my last order. It became a $10 order so glad I actually took that order. Sometimes I don't like going to that diner because their weights are sometimes ridiculous and I usually have to end up canceling. Took a chance, not so much this time. I walked in, it was ready, and I was out the door. So yay to that, and yay to a hidden tip. Now I am going into my local smoked barbecue to go pick up this order. Hopefully this one's ready too. Maybe, maybe I'll get on a order is ready roll. That would be fantastic. Hi, how are you guys? Yeah, for Robert and Thank 
was Panera from Grubhub. It was ready. I just had to find an associate. I feel like tonight some of the restaurants are very lightly staffed. I haven't really found that in a while, but tonight I'm really finding some restaurants really shortly staffed. You guys are going to have to leave me in the comments. Do you guys still see short staffed restaurants? Do you still, still see restaurants closing early? I have not seen that around my area lately, but for, t for some reason tonight, I feel like a lot of restaurants are having having some staffing issues. So I'm hoping this next order, which is DoorDash, um, it is an $11 order. I think it's only going five miles. I got it right before drop off of the last order. So 11.25, it's only going 5.6. This is another thing I've been noticing on DoorDash and you guys are gonna also have to leave, leave me comments if you've noticed this as well. Sometimes the longer, I'm gonna say sometimes being a relative word because it's not all the times. I feel like you can't understand or I should say there's no rhyme or reason lately to DoorDash's hidden tips. Usually I could figure out sometimes DoorDash's hidden tips lately. That I feel like they've been all over the place. Not so much with like in my area 675, but sometimes I've been noticing if it is a longer distance, say five miles plus, a lot of times they'll show you like, or they'll give you the full pail of the order and there won't be any hidden tips. Cause I feel like they, maybe I'm just, you know, conspiracy thinking, or I'm thinking with a DoorDash mindset that they're thinking, okay, well, if I show them the full payout, they're more likely to take this order. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have been noticing. Once again, not on every order, just sometimes on some of the longer distance orders, they actually show you, or I should say the offer is full payout and there's usually not hidden tips. I don't know. Just something I've been observing lately. Okay. I'm going to go in and grab this next order. Okay, so let's have a little fun with this. I literally just went in and go pick the order was ready. But pickup time, are you ready? Was 30 minutes ago. <laughs> so let's let's guess this. Is it A there's just not enough drivers out? Is it B there is a zero tip order? Or is it C, a low tip order? I don't know. Leave it in the comments which one you think it is. I'm gonna go get this dropped off and we'll figure it out together. Okay, 
you guys are gonna see this before I do. You ready? Okay, fast version, okay, ready? Okay, what does it say? Okay, there was a hidden tip in there. So I guess maybe there's just not enough drivers out. I don't know, but it's a good order. Came to a $12 order. I'm okay with that, so not a low tip, not a no tip, so we'll go with just not enough drivers out. I'm telling you, all of a sudden it's like orders just stopped. <laughs> DoorDash kicked me off of my dash for whatever reason. Thank God I looked. I was waiting and I'm like, I'm not getting any orders. And I pulled up and DoorDash kicked me off my dash for it. I wasn't even paused. So frustrating. But anyway, so I finally took this uh, Panera order right here. I'm about ready to go in and go grab this order and hopefully orders keep coming in. But man, DoorDash, why'd you kick me off? Why'd you do me like that? <laughs> I just completed a shop and deliver for DoorDash, really easy, four items. I was in and out of Acme. I just couldn't find one of their snacks, but they had a substitute, so I want the substitute. And delivered, and now I'm working on this Uber Eats order. Of course, I had to pull forward because my order wasn't ready yet, so you guys are gonna keep me with company and I'm gonna get this delivered and I'm going home. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. If you are driving, please stay safe and healthy. Remember, kindness is always free. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. And if you wanna see another multi-apping video, check this video out right here. Peace out, bye everyone.